The Cryosthesia 77K is a stasis elemental 260 rounds per minute exotic sidearm from the Season of the Splicer Season Pass. While this weapon is a stasis elemental weapon, it sits in the kinetic weapon slot. You can claim this weapon for yourself from the Season Pass rewards immediately after logging in if you own the Season or by reaching Season Pass rank 35 if you are a free to play guardian. Its exotic trait is Liquid Cooling. Final blows with this weapon enable a charged shot for a short duration. Targets hit by this shot are instantly frozen at the cost of the weapon's entire magazine. Activating Liquid Cooling's perk triggers the weapon's exotic trait, LN2 Burst. This perk causes the weapon to have a variable trigger. Holding the trigger for a few seconds, charges, and then fires the freezing shot, so you'll know this perk is active when you see the LN2 Burst Ready Timer appear in the lower left corner of your screen. This is like another exotic sidearm, the Devil's Ruin, and it's closed the gap exotic trait. Unlike the Devil's Ruin though, you'll need to score a final blow with the weapon to activate its variable trigger. This changes how the weapon feels, uh, going just from pressing the trigger to fire around to needing to press and then release the trigger to do the same. I've spoken with several players who do not enjoy using this weapon because of how inconsistent the variable trigger trait makes the weapon feel. You'll have 10 seconds to fire the charged cooling shot, and additional final blows with the sidearm refresh the timer, giving you more time to find that perfect target to freeze. This charged shot consumes all of the remaining ammo in the magazine. Keep an eye on your ammo reserves or you'll quickly burn through all of your ammo in just a few shots. Sometimes, it'll be a good idea to use that ammo if you need to freeze an elite enemy or champion charging you down in a nightfall. This freezing shot will activate any fragments and aspects you have equipped on your stasis subclass. If you have the Whisper of Hedron's Fragment equipped, freezing an enemy with this charged shot will proc the extra damage bonus from this fragment. A quick side note, the weapon will not deal extra damage to frozen targets if you have the Whisper of Rending Fragment equipped, as it technically deals stasis elemental damage, not kinetic damage. The LN2 Burst perk will go away if you swap to another weapon after activating it too. This charged shot is also hitscan, meaning you can instantly hit enemies at any distance as long as you don't miss. I should point out, the charge shot doesn't seem to have a blast radius like the Shadebinder Warlock's Penumbral Blast. Like other Season Pass exotic weapons before it, you start the quest to unlock this weapon's catalyst by visiting Banshee in the tower. Speak with Banshee and accept the Stasis Trigger quest to start work towards unlocking this catalyst. I strongly suggest waiting until you reach Season Pass rank 22 for the Times 4 Catalyst Progress bonus, because this is a long and painful grind if you don't enjoy PvP. The first step in this quest requires you to get 75 precision final blows on any enemy type, defeat 50 guardians, and defeat 100 combatants. You can complete two of the three of these requirements at the same time depending on which playlist activity you're playing in. The best part about this first step in the quest is that it doesn't require you to use the sidearm. You can use any weapon or ability towards earning progress with guardian defeats. You can even get those defeats in a featured crucible playlist like Team Scorch. The second step in this quest is where the real grind begins. This step has you gathering calibration data by completing strikes, nightfalls, crucible and gambit matches, and defeating guardians and combatants again, but this time you'll need to get the final blows with the cryosthesia itself. Without the 4 times bonus progress, winning a match of control rewarded me with just one point of calibration data out of the 200 I needed to complete this part of the quest. There seems to be some rounding involved with earning data calibration progress, with losses in Gambit and Crucible rewarding slightly less progress than wins. I suggest getting your 50 final blows in the Crucible first, and then switching to whichever playlist activity you enjoy the most to complete the rest of the quest. Speaking of PvP, this sidearm deals 38 damage to the body and 57 to the head in the Crucible, giving it an optimal time to kill of 0.7 seconds. That TTK requires 4 of your 5 shots to be headshots too. The freezing shot itself deals 3 points of damage in the Crucible, and the freezing effect lasts for as long as does a cold snap grenade's freeze. For the final step in this quest, you'll return to Banshee in the tower and claim the exotic catalyst as your reward. The catalyst itself is currently bugged as of the time I'm making this review. It says you'll need to defeat 700 enemies with the Cryosthesia, but you actually need to land final blows with an energy weapon while having the exotic sidearm equipped in your kinetic slot. Players are suggesting this bug has something to do with the fact that the sidearm deals stasis damage, which is elemental, but sits in that kinetic weapon slot. I used an Igneous Hammer hand cannon with subsistence and rampage on an Entombment of Hunger Warlock, one tapping Thrall at the Altar of Sorrow to get my 700 kills for the Catalyst. Once completed, the Catalyst unlocks the trait Cold Efficiency. Shattering a frozen target refills the weapon's magazine from the reserves. This creates a unique playstyle loop, where you're landing final blows with the sidearm on low tier enemies to activate the charged shot, then firing that charged shot to freeze another enemy, activating any relevant aspects and fragments, and then finally shattering that frozen enemy to refill the magazine and start the cycle again. Unfortunately, refilling the magazine this way does not activate the damage bonus from the surprise attack armor mod. There is another bit of good news for stasis subclasses though. Shattering enemies frozen by your melee and grenade abilities also refills the magazine. 
This exotic is great for players who like the crowd control stasis offers but don't want to feel forced into using a stasis subclass. Still, I would highly encourage you to use a sidearm on a stasis subclass since it works with both aspects and fragments. It's also a great option for anyone who's tired of using the cold snap grenade, and if you're a hunter or titan who wants access to a ranged instant freezing ability like the Warlock's Penumbra Blast. That's all for today's review. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you'll always be up to date on the latest Destiny 2 news. I've been Kripov, and I try weapons Destiny so you don't have to. See you next time.